Here talking with Miss Kathy Hughes, the owner and CEO of WOL, WOB, and how many other stations are you on right now, Miss Hughes? Nine altogether, thank God. Okay, now we're talking about the Stone Soul Picnic and how you came up with this idea. Many years ago, we were exploring how we could best say thank you to our listeners. As you know, we don't call them listeners, we call them family members. And now we have nine families in the Radio One corporate family. And we came up with the idea that most people have festivals, but usually they charge for you to come to the festival. So we decided each year to set aside a budget. For instance, this year's budget for Baltimore was $150,000. $100,000 of it for the talent alone. The other 50 for security and cleanup. And we wanted also to hook up with our vendors who give away things. We wanted it to be an appreciation day to the family members. But most importantly, we wanted the opportunity to show that tens of thousands of African Americans could get together in love and peace in six years. We have not had not one arrest, not one fight, not one incident. And we have them all in ages all the way from brand new babies to senior citizens, 80 and 90 years old, with tons of teenagers and young adults in between. For us to have that many diverse demographics together and no problems is truly a blessing. Yeah, yeah, we rolling, man. Stone Soul. This is not a picnic. This is a freak nick. Tell the people who you are, first of all. Well, I be your brother C. Miles. I'm Atlanta born, Atlanta bred. When I die, I'll be Atlanta dead. But right now, I'm all Baltimore can handle. I'm all, hey, hey I'm all y'all can. I'm the hottest thing in Baltimore since Earl the Pearl. And you're right, Baltimore can hardly handle you, brother. But you know, from 2 to 6 in the afternoon, if they're listening to the radio, they thank you. See, all these other stations got them shaking their booty, but I got them shaking their brains, home. That's why I came up here from Atlanta. Miss Hughes brought me up to kick the dough down, because y'all was asleep, man. Dead asleep. The nickname for Baltimore, man, is Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to do all the hits for him. You're, you're going to throw your head in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Love, love won't let me wait. You know, that's one of my favorites. Oh, great, brother. Great. We're gonna... what, you want to do a couple couple bars? Here? The time is right. You hold me tight. And love's got me high. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> my desire to disseminate information to people of African descent. When black people know what's going on, they will make the right decision. But what has happened is that the media in particular has consciously kept black people in the dark. They don't tell us what's going on. Most of the time, we don't know. We're always in a reactionary position. We're always playing defense instead of allow, being allowed to run the ball and play offense. My goal was to change all that, and not only to entertain African Americans, but also to disseminate information that they could use to improve the quality of their lives. You gotta get real on the radio. You gotta hit hard. Take some names, man, and knock the door down. Y'all blessed in this area to have a radio station with all of the uh, that Miss Hughes got. You got an FM, hip hop, bebop, you got gospel, and you got talk. It don't get no better than that. Man, I'm from a town that's known for Dr. Martin Luther King, a town that's known for Mohouse, Spelman, six black colleges, but we don't have a voice. Y'all got a voice up here, man. Y'all strong. I'm glad to be here, my brother.
But you know, the name of the game is this, man, and I don't want to fool nobody. I'm not no leader. I'm not no messiah. I'm entertainment. Now, what I do is I spice it up. I add a little pepper, put a little salt in it, some garlic. I get real, real funky on Hold up on that garlic a little bit, though, all right? <laughs> but you know what? Y'all been so used to just that old plain old vanilla radio. You know what I'm saying? I'm ginger and hot chocolate and all of that. You know, I'm um, black coffee, sugar, no cream. As a kind of brothers and sisters, I want down with the team. The talk how you like underground posse. We plan to add more stations. We have presently 452 employees. We strive to add more employment opportunities for uh, African-American broadcasters, and we just want to all grow and prosper together. We believe that as each one rises, a high tide lifts all boats. Because I believe in standing up for that which I know is right, I also believe in standing up for that which directly affects the lives of black people. And I say, I'm not unique. I want to know what's wrong with the rest of my brothers and sisters. It's time for us to stand up, take a position. I think it's time for black people to wake up and smell the coffee and realize that the Republicans aren't going to do it, the Democrats aren't going to do it, white people aren't going to do it. You have to do for your own, and that's what Radio 1 is all about.